What's going on guys? This is Burrs. I want to show you today how to install Whoopi Sling onto your hammock. Now what I have here as an example is the hammock uh, that I have here from Kamek. Uh, this is the Kamek Roo. Uh, this is a, is a uh, hammock I've used for a while now. And uh, you know, this is a setup I've had, which is actually just using the, uh, the really thick, a uh, little bit heavy spectra cord that came with it. And then I have a uh, carabiner here from uh, DMM that's uh, rather lightweight, but uh, I'm actually going to improve on that. A lot of people will put on a whoopee sling for the simple reason of saving weight. Um, and that's a great reason why, but it's actually a little bit different for me. The reason I'm putting a whoopee sling on is for adjustability. Now, what I want is, you know, quick adjustability, uh, quick setup, and, uh, you know, that's why I'm switching out to a whoopee sling. What is a whoopee sling, you might ask yourself. Whoopee sling is basically something that you put in through one end, you put in uh, through the other end, you'll loop it through and get it nice and tight, like so. And then what you can do is actually adjust this, okay, right here, okay, which actually tightens up this end right here, which gets your hammock either looser or tighter. And on this end, if you want to make it looser, you just take this end and it kind of goes through itself, if you will. As you can see here, it goes through itself, okay. You want to make it tighter and you can see on this end it kind of stops because it has a tail. You want to make it, you know, tighter, you just pull it on this end. So how do you install this on your hammock? Let's go ahead and get down to uh, how you do that. First off, let's take a look at this side here. This side I actually have the whoopee sling installed. You can see it's, you know, much, you know, smaller package than uh, what you have on this end. So let's go ahead and take off the old parts. So first off, we'll go ahead and take off this carabiner here. Secondly, what we're gonna do is go ahead and take off the spectra cord, which will be pretty easy. All you have to do here is just basically, you know, take it out of here and you'll have, you actually will have a, a knot here. You go ahead and undo that and you'll have this channel here, okay? And then what you wanna do is actually run this whoopee sling through there. Now the side that you wanna run through is the side with the bead. Okay, now the bead's the thing that's gonna keep this from going back through itself. And it's also the side you wanna start with uh, getting this whoopee sling through there. So, what I like to do is go ahead and put that whoopee sling on here. And what I do is I kinda of do that right there, okay? Just make a little loop like such. Then all I do is pull it through. like that, okay? Pretty simple. Um, a lot of people will uh, overcomplicate things, but uh, to get it through the first time, it's pretty simple like such. Now you don't wanna go through too much here because you wanna make sure you keep the tail out over here. All right, so now that we have that through, we're gonna wanna run it through one more time. You can use it like this, and all you'd have to do to use it is just run it through the, uh, the end here and just tighten it up, and you can use it like that, but for my, uh, what I like to do is actually run it through one more time, just because it gives you a little bit more material on the inside of the channel there. Um, it doesn't actually do anything different because you're still using just a single rope right here as far as the uh, thickness of your connection. So, you know, the, the weakest link, so to speak, in your connection is always gonna be, you know, the, um, the breaking point. And the breaking point, whether you go through once or twice with this, is actually going to be just a single loop uh, anyhow, so it doesn't matter for that part, no, but uh, I just like to have a little extra through the, uh, the channel if I can. Now how to do that is pretty simple. You're just going to want to run this out a little bit, okay? You want to keep this out, okay? You want to always keep out this part right here, your, uh, your loop, and you want to take that bead and push it through here. Push it through as far as you can, and you're going to want to grab that bead, okay, with your fingers, and you're going to want to run it through Okay, the channel, okay? And you do it pretty easily because, you know, it can just kind of runs through there. It makes it a lot easier if you have the, uh, the play here to, uh, to go with. And you just kind of run that through as much as you can. And if you get caught down here towards the, uh, the hemming, uh, just move it back up. Keep it up towards the top, just a lot easier that way. All right, 
So now we have this kind of situation going on. What I like to do is pull, okay, ultimately you want this on the other side, okay? So what you're gonna wanna do is pull through all of your webbing, okay? And to do that, just gonna wanna keep working this uh, through here. Like such. And you can pull it out like that. Okay, so then you'll have a loop on this side. And then all you do is you run through the line with the bead and you just run it through that connection right there. Okay, and then you have your connection on there. Okay, and then what you can do is you can adjust it as you need. Okay, come back over here, adjust it back down. Okay, what have you gotta do? You can do now that you have that on there. You know, so that's gonna hold you in your hammock pretty nicely. Now compared to the really bulky previous what I had here, which was a little bit of a bigger carabiner and uh, some, you know, really thick Spectacord that actually came with it. And now the Kamek Roo actually comes with some uh, Dyneema webbing, which is a great improvement. Um, but the problem is, again, you don't have the, adjust the quick adjustment that you do with, like, say, a whoopee sling. So that's why I went with the uh, with this configuration. I'm looking for some videos here with uh, with the hammock. I'm going out on a uh, nice little, you know, beginning of the winter kind of trek here soon. And I'll have a lot of videos out on that. So uh, stay tuned for that. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and let me know. If you guys... Uh, and what your setup is with your hammocks and such, go ahead and put it down there in the comments section down below or make your own videos and tell everybody that they're out there because we can't make video responses anymore. And uh, until next time, later. Oh, that was a mean one.